Alright, what's up people out there in YouTube world? Today I'm bringing you this quick video to talk about Ableton Push 2 and Machine Studio. I'm just going to be talking about recording a sample and how fast it is to get to work with it, with it right away. Um, and I can tell you right off the bat that Machine Studio is faster in that area. And I'm going to you know, do a demonstration to show you what I'm talking about. So I got these two ready to, to arm and ready to record. Um, so I'm just going to record some sound in here. And like in Machine Studio, you can pick a pad you want, any pad you want to sample on. And but in Ableton Push 2, you can't load up a drum rack, hit a pad and record on. You have to be in session view on an audio track um, and record onto an audio clip. I'm going to do a demonstration to show you, so let's get some sound in here on both of these guys. Alright. We got sound in on both of these guys. Let's start over here with Machine Studio, why I say it's quicker. So I'm ready to go and edit. Hit my starting end point. I'm ready to go. I can copy and paste to each pad. Start, you know, I can record another one on here if I want to. Um, add my effects as opposed to push 2. Before I can do anything, I have to hit this convert button here that they put on here. So let's hit that. And it's going to give you an option to convert into a sampler. Um, and the reason why I don't like that, I'm going to explain. So let's hit sampler. Now we're in sampler mode. Let's get the starting end point going. All right. We're in sampler mode. It's warped and everything. Let's turn warping off. Let's hit that. I'm not going to get into detail about all of that. Um, but yeah, and once you convert it to a sampler, you know, it, it puts you in whatever, it gives you three options, classic mode, one shot, and slicing. And slicing is based on, you know, your sensitivity knob, you know, I love that about it. So let's just turn it down to zero, well, let's leave it at 16. Alright, now like I said, we ready to go over here, we can do what we want, but over here, the reason why I don't like sampler mode you have to convert it again to drum rack. The reason I don't like this simpler mode is you can't copy and paste pads right right now. See, I can't copy and paste. I have to go into a drum convert again to a drum rack mode. And the reason I don't like that is, and another reason I don't like it is, you can't add effects to individual, you know, slicing. I might want to add a delay of reverb or whatever the kind of effect. I can't do that in simpler mode. I got to convert it again. So let's convert, let's turn the slicing down to zero. So let's convert it again to a drum rack. So you got to go through a couple of steps to get ready to go. You know, dig in as opposed to machine studio. Now I can start copying and pasting pads. And unlike Machine Studio, we can just hold the duplicate button and just go with any as many pads as you want. Ableton Push, it might not be a big deal to some, but I just noticed it because I'm used to doing it over here in Machine Studio. If I hit the duplicate button and I can't just keep going like Push, I have to hit it again. And you know, like I said, it may not be a big deal to some, it's just how I'm used to working over here. But, you know, other than that thing, you know, I'm loving Push 2. Now I can start going in and adding effects to individual pads and whatnot. And, um, but yeah, those are the main things. You can't record into a pad. You got to record into an audio clip. Um, I don't know if they'll change that or not. Um, they got this convert button, so I don't think they will, but who knows. But... On that note, ever since I got Ableton Push 2, this thing's been collecting dust. 
Um, that's just a little minor thing I noticed and just wanted to point out just in case guys were wondering, um, you know, what's the difference in, you know, as far as getting to work really fast, getting a sample laid down. You know, they might change it in some updates, um, but who knows. Um, I feel Ableton push, Ableton 9.5 is where I wanted it to be a long time ago. You know, if it, if it was there a while ago, I wouldn't have even got Machine Studio. Like I said, I haven't even been using this. Um, and another thing to point out, I, I don't even use this in standalone. Every, every time I use it, I throw it into Ableton, you know, to record, chop, slice, and everything. But I can do everything now, but here's just some things that's different, like I just showed you. You know, but I'm loving this, and um, I don't know what I'm going to do with Machine Studio. Like, Ableton is where I want it to be as far as sampling right now. So, yeah, that's it. You know, it won't going to be nothing too long. I just wanted to point that out. I'm not going to get into detail of everything, you know, you can do with this and without that. Uh, but if you got any questions, you know, you want to see a video, just let me know. Um, I'm going to do more videos, you know, just making a beat on here you know in the future but yeah I just wanted to point that out I'm loving push 2 um, feel kinda bad I don't use this no more but fuck it I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or not but um yeah until then subscribe 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 um, peace